Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how we solve one of the biggest headaches our bookkeeping team face on a regular occurrence using our friends at Armalytics. So let's find out what that biggest headache is and how our friends at Armalytics can help us solve that. Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Johan Gori. I'm the Group Managing Director of the OnPoint Accounting Group. I spend a lot of my time helping software companies like Client Engager to get their product up and running and rolling out new developments and features. On a Monday morning at 8.30am, I'm broadcasting a live podcast with my co-host Aaron Patrick, Ask the Accountant. And today I'm going to show you how my friends at Armalytics can take you through and solve a headache that pretty much every bookkeeper and accountant faces. So, to be quite clear, Armalytics are not sponsoring this video. This software is a fantastic piece of software that I've really enjoyed using. My team love using it. It solves a lot of our headaches. And I just want to do a video for them showing their feature and how we use it in our practice. Now, they have recently sent me this rather wonderful Armalytics GLA, which is proving very cozy during the winter months up here in Scotland. But as I say, this is not sponsored by them. All of these are my own views and they're my own views built by using the product on a day-to-day -day, real life scenario with our clients. So what is the problem my team face? Let's have a look at QuickBooks and I'll show you. So here we are, we're in QuickBooks. We've logged into our sample company. We're pleased to see that our clients have already reviewed all their bank transactions, which is great. And that's what QuickBooks is here for. It's help, to help our clients do a bit of the work to save some money from our fees, but also to give them that financial understanding of, and, and of what's coming in and out of their bank on a constant basis. The problem, however, is then we've got a bank balance, which is what the bank is telling QuickBooks to expect, and what the QuickBooks thinks they should have in the bank. And it's different. Now this could be for all sorts of reasons. The main reasons can be are normally that they have not connected the bank to the right dates so maybe the bank dropped off on the 1st of December and when the client reconnected the bank they reconnected from the 1st of January or maybe they've reconnected from the 1st of October which means we've got a load of duplicate transactions in there maybe the bank fee dropped out overnight re-established and it's missing some transactions maybe it's re-established it's duplicated some transactions ultimately technology it's great but it can fail so it's important that we're checking these balances and the only real way you can check these balances and work out what's going on with the transactions is to have a transaction report from the bank or a bank statement. Now, in the days gone by, and many accountants are still doing this, they would now ring up their client, go, hi, Mr. Client, we've noticed there's a difference in QuickBooks between your bank and QuickBooks. Can you please send us the bank statements for this date? One of three things is now going to happen. The client's going to send you the paper copies of those bank statements. They might send you the PDF of those bank statements if they've got online banking. Hopefully, they would send you a CSV file. But what happened, what requires is required here is the client has to log into the online banking, remember the date periods you've given them, download those reports and send them on to you. But with our friends at Armalytics, there's an easier way. So Armalytics will send out a link to your client via an email or a text message, however you choose to do it. And then by using that link, the client can open their, click on the link, open their open banking app. It will automatically pull the data for the date ranges you've requested. The client then can authorize the submission of that report to you. And you will get an email from Armalytics telling you that the software has given you the report. And you've now got a PDF or a CSV file to run through those transactions, compare them to QuickBooks or Xero, whatever accounting software you're using, to verify and reconcile the bank to see what's going on with the transactions and why there's a difference. So let's have a quick look at Armalytics. So this is the Armalytics website. So if you've not got an Armalytics account, 
you just click on get started and it will go through a setup process with you. Armalytics looks after several different industries and it's really focused around anti-money laundering, but they've taken the features for bank fetch and they've turned them into a feature for accounting. So let's go to the accounting world. So the biggest headache, as I've just said, is getting, based, getting bank statements from your clients for the right bank accounts for the right dates. Well, Armalytics solves all of that. So all that information is here. It saves time, it reduces mistakes, and it increases processing speed. Armalytics can go back up to two years. So if you've got a catch-up job, this is a really powerful tool. Can you imagine asking your client to send you two years worth of bank statements? Then they post you two years worth of printed statements, and you're gonna to have to do something with that. With this case, you're just gonna get two years worth of transactions on a CSV file, nice and easy. It's nice and secure. The client doesn't have to leave the connection on the bank because once Armalytics has got their report, they disconnect from the bank, they move away. So it's really secure for your clients to use. If your client is a bit cautious about open banking and having a live link to QuickBooks or Xero or Sage, then what you can do is you can request the bank statement each month through Armalytics and upload it directly into QuickBooks, Sage or Xero and process the transactions that way as well. And as you can see, there's pricing plans for all size businesses. So if you just need around 10 reports a month, it's 50 pounds. If you need 25 reports a month, it's 100 pounds. If you need 50 reports a month, it's 150 pounds. Now there is, you can pay extra if you need more reports in one month versus another. And obviously each tariff comes with different features. So branded emails, branded reports, etc. the more reports you do. We've been using Armalytics now since September and it's been a really powerful tool for us. Our clients are getting us bank statements quicker. It means our bookkeeping team are more proactive rather than responsive and hanging around for ages waiting for those reports to come in from their clients. There is another feature in Armalytics that we've started using and we recommend every accounting firm considers this. When we do onboard a new client, we have to do anti-money laundering checks. Traditionally in the accounting industry, most firms will just go, will ask the client a series of questions, verify their identity using an electronic verifying process for the passport or something, and then that's it. At On Point Accounting, we go another step further. We ask them to sign up to a source of funds report through Armalytics. This is a one-off fee for us to pay, if you as a firm want to pass that on to your client, that's up to you, we don't. But the source of funds report goes back two years and it pulls an analytical report which gives you ins and outs of that business for the last two years for transactions on the bank accounts. It also highlights the biggest ins and the biggest outs so you can spot if there's anything going on there. It also highlights things like cash transactions. If you're running an online retail store, would you expect as an accountant to see that online retail store to have loads of cash transactions? Probably not. So if they do, you've got to question why have you got all these cash transactions? Basically, the source of funds report for Armalytics gives us as accounting firms the confidence that our clients are behaving with their money in a way that we would expect them to. So if a client runs a fish and chip shop, I would expect them to have cash transactions, cash deposits into the bank each week because there's going to be cash sales. But if they're running an eBay store, it's very unlikely they'd have cash deposits coming in and out. It's just about helping you to understand your client and how they work. I hope you found that useful. Bank Fetch is a really powerful tool for us. It saves us so much time and clients find it a lot easier just to click on the link, authorize it and send the report rather than having to dig around, finding the where you go into your open banking to find the statements and the date periods and stuff like that. So it saves everyone time. And then source of funds report, gives us confidence in a money laundering situation that we've checked our client and we're happy they're behaving appropriately to what we would expect for their business time. If you want to sign up to Armalytics, I'll stick the link for Armalytics into the description of this video. As I say, this video is not sponsored by Armalytics. They have sent me a very nice GLA, which I am very much enjoying, but this is all my own views. It's purely my experience using a great bit of software and thinking that actually, other accountants and bookkeepers should know about this. I hope you found that, this video useful. If you've got any ideas of what videos you'd like me to cover, what topics you'd like me to cover, please stick them in the comments. 
I'm looking at building a much broader range of videos talking through how we work at OnPoint Accounting, how I work in my day-to-day -day life and my day-to-day -day job, and hopefully sharing some of those experiences with you in a very exciting 2023 that we've got ahead of us. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.